You want to fly sub 250 gram quad and also want to record 4K stabilized GoPro video, but you can't because your GoPro is too heavy. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can tear down your 117 gram GoPro to 17 gram only. So stay tuned. So welcome back friends to yet another interesting video at FPV Whoop and in this video I'm going to show you how you can tear down your GoPro Hero 6 from this which is roughly 117 gram to something like this which is 17 gram only with motherboard and the camera. So without wasting more time let's get started. So step one is to remove this top lens cap and you can try to push inside and rotate it. It might not come out easily because there are two metal wires inside which is holding this cap. So we have to bend it. In order to bend it, we can use any mobile repair toolkit or any metal thing to push inside and rotate. So the metal wires bend a little bit. Once you do that and after that when you try to push inside and rotate it will come out very easily. Now let's quickly weight this top cap which is around 7 gram and we are still have to strip 93 gram to achieve 17 gram. Let's remove the battery and weight that as well. When I remove the battery and weight it, it combined with top cap is 31 gram. Now let's also remove the side HDMI and USB-C door. When you open and push it it will remove easily the total weight is 34 gram so we are still 66 gram to go for more stripping so now let's start our step 2 which is removing the front rubber housing you can use any mobile repair plastic tool or you can use your quad props on the side you will see a small square we have to start from here the top rubber housing is glued to the metal plate around the corner and also on the front screen so we have to make sure we don't push too hard or we don't break the front screen so as you can try i am trying to remove the front glue while entering this plastic and we have to be very careful it can hurt you and also we don't want to break our quad front screen because there's a ribbon cable going on on the bottom left corner so we have to be very careful about this as you can see I hurt a little bit myself and I am trying to remove the front glue so this rubber housing can be removed. With the help of another plastic I can use two plastic tools and use and remove this rubber housing. So finally I have removed the front rubber housing and we can see the metal plate. Now quickly check the weight again how much is rubber housing combined with all the parts we have removed so far. So total is 42 gram. It means previously was 34 we have added roughly 8 gram more means 54 gram still we have to strip more. Now is the time to start step number 3. We're going to remove this front screws which is six screws and we will remove this six screws and we'll remove this front metal plate. I will keep those screws somewhere safe so they can be used later. Maybe I want to mount them back or they can be used on the TPU print. So once I remove this six screws, I can then easily remove the front metal plate which is attached to the motherboard or a logic board and then I can also remove the back housing which is the holder for the battery and then I can start my step number four which is removing this front plate very carefully because all the ribbon cables the back LCD ribbon cable and the button ribbon cable is attached to the motherboard if you push too hard you can break those so we have to carefully and gently start removing the front metal plate and as we can see there are ribbon cables attached to the back screen and the back housing. 
So we can use any pointed tool like tweezer or any plastic pointed tool and start pushing carefully. We don't want to break them. So we can gently and very carefully remove those ribbon cables so front metal plate can be detached completely from the back battery panel. Another connection which is going into battery attached to the board. So we have to remove that as well so we can completely remove and detach the screen. So there is a rubber on top of this connector. We can remove this easily by hand or by tweezer. Once we remove that rubber, we can easily pull the connector and remove it completely. Now we have separated the back housing with the screen and now we just left with the front plate, GoPro board and the lens. Now let's quickly wait what we have removed so far from the GoPro and see how much weight we have left with. So combining the battery front housing, the top lens and then back housing combined with the screen and all the screws so far combined of 86 gram which means we have now in our hand is 33 gram version of GoPro. A lot of people prefer this version because you can still use the front screen to change any settings and the front metal plate which can be safeguard for any impact or hits. So you can use this 33 gram GoPro version with any sub 250 quad but if you are looking to reduce more weight you can strip it to 17 gram but bear in mind once we remove this front metal plate the board and the lens become more fragile and they are easy to break on with any hit and impact. So we all love our quads, but we don't fear of breaking stuff. So let's strip it further. Go to our next step where we remove the back screws and remove the board and the lens from the front metal plate. So what we are going to do, we are going to unscrew this one, two, three, four. You can see quickly and there are a couple of more screws behind the this black area which is attached to the lens. So let's unscrew those. So once we remove this most obvious 3-4 silver screws which are easily visible, we're gonna start removing the screws which are behind this black area which is attached to the lens. In order to do that, let's first remove the ribbon cable which is attached to the USB-C and then remove this protective black metal plate. Once we remove that, we can see there are two screws which are holding this USB-C port. Once we unscrew those and remove those, we can easily remove this plastic casing along with the USB-C port and the ribbon cable. Once we remove that underneath, you will see another screw which is holding the motherboard. So we are going to remove that as well. You can see inside. So now we have removed all the screws which were on the motherboard. Now we will disconnect the lens ribbon cable and then you can see there is a black tape going on from the front screen to the motherboard. So we will gently remove this tape as well and once we remove this tape now we can easily and gently separate the board from the front panel. So now we have removed the motherboard from the front metal plate and now the last thing is left. Now we have to remove the lens. So you can see there is a very tiny hidden screw as well which is attached to the front screen. So we will remove that screw as well. So after removing that screw now we can easily remove our lens and now you can see the front metal plate along with the front screen is now removed and we can see the lens and the motherboard. Let's quickly wait now again what we have left with everything what we have stripped so far along with the back battery metal plate the ribbon cables and then the connection all the screws and combined all those weight is around 100 gram 99 200 gram and now we have left with 17 18 gram version combining these three things one is motherboard lens and then USB-C connection combined 18 gram so now we have stripped 
17 to 18 gram it's up to you you want to use USB-C connection for the power or you can use the battery cable for connecting the power it's up to you in my next videos I'm going to show you what are the different ways you can use to power your GoPro stripped Crow Pro and that's it guys I hope you like this video please subscribe my channel share your love share your thoughts and comment in the section below and we'll see you in the next one thank you